Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Wake Up Wednesday. Oh yes, I know that this is your second most favorite time of the week after we have the workout videos that come out every Sunday. My name's Rebecca Louise. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Make sure you hit subscribe and you turn on those notifications so that you never miss a Wake Up Wednesday or a new workout. Yes, and today we are talking about how to let go of that fear. Oh yeah, so anytime that you're feeling a little bit down or maybe your mindset isn't right, then go on over to the playlist about Wake Up Wednesdays, Motivation and Life, and you are gonna get right back into the zone of feeling positive and happy. So, make sure that you like this video and give me a thumbs up so that I know you guys want more of these videos. And of course, if you've got any suggestions of things that you want to work on and you want me to make a video on, put it in the comments below. So we've got seven steps. So yes, because seven is my lucky number of how to let go of fear. Number one, mindfulness. So you've got to let go of fearful thoughts because you actually sometimes just creating it in your own head. Do you know that fear is just a part of your imagination? It doesn't actually exist. It's just something that you made up, okay? It does, it's not actually real. So if for, next time you think about, oh my God, I'm so scared of doing this, I'm fearful, it's all in your head. It's just made up. It's just a figment of your imagination. So remember, fear is not real. It's just a figment of your imagination that you have fabricated to become even bigger. And sometimes we make these fears seem even bigger than they are, okay? So it's not always a fact. In fact, most of the time, it's not a fact. It is just how you are feeling and that fear. So, boom, get that out of the way. Number two, surround yourself with people that empower you and are doing the same things that you are doing. I absolutely love my Team Fearless team, the people that are, are working with me on my mission of helping people get healthier and happier around the world. If you're not part of Team Fearless, uh, what are you doing? Get the details below. Um, everything is there about joining our weekly Wednesday call about how you can actually join my team, have a, he a career in health and fitness and helping people get healthy. So that's what I love and that's what I really provide for my team is an area where people feel comfortable comfortable and supported and they don't have the fear because everybody is you know doing the same thing and encouraging each other and really working hard towards their goals so that's a big thing for me is I've got to be surrounded by people who are empowering uplifting want the same things of me are positive um, and that's gonna help you become the best version of yourself and not let you get scared to do something new so ask yourself who are you following and who is your group next thing what is more scary not trying it and not making it, or trying it and making it just 1%. Wouldn't that be better? Isn't it more risky and more fearful of not actually doing it? That's what scares me. Like the thought that I didn't say yes to opportunities in the last like, you know, freaking 10 years of my life, that scares me to think, oh my goodness, can you imagine if I was a no person? I would not have where I am, to, be where I am today. So be a yes person, okay? Figure out how later, if you're part of my team, you get a, such a great support structure, um, but really make sure that you're thinking, okay, if I don't do it, it's gonna be more fearful, the fear of not having it. You know if you have that thing, the fear of missing out? Think about that. So don't be fearful, have the fear of missing out and just say yes, because it's better just to make it and try, or make it just 1% and try, than not try at all and just never even know if you can make it. That's like, that's like kind of sad. So go out there and say yes. Number four, all you gotta do is become 1% better every single day, just 1%. Learn from something that you did yesterday that you want to change. Now, it doesn't matter if you completely fix it and you're perfect the next day, that's probably not gonna happen, but recognizing the fact of how you feel and that you want to get better every single day is gonna help and put out that fear. So progress is everything. It's not about perfection, it's just about progress. Can you get better every single day? 1%, that's good enough. Over like 30 days, you're gonna be like 30% better. That's pretty awesome. Okay, number five, look back at how far you've overcome and a few things that you were fearful of and compare that and say, it actually wasn't that bad. Have you ever done something you're like, oh my God, I was like so scared, like this exam was coming and I had to like teach in front of a room or I had to give this presentation or I had to go and meet my family's friends, I had to go meet my boyfriend's friends, like all these things. And then it, you, it happens and you're like, oh my goodness, like why was I so worried? Why was I so fearful? So when you've got something else coming up in the future, take a look back at things that you've done before and why you've got so nervous and scared and fearful and realize that it actually wasn't that bad. So compare your previous experiences to help you go forward with new ones. Number six, write down how you will feel when you conquer this fear. 
So when you get over that fear, you know, whether it's going to a new yoga class because you're scared of, you know, intimidated by people in, in classrooms or in gyms, right? But how would you feel as soon as you got into that room, you put out your mat, you start your flow, oh, you're gonna feel so good, but sometimes it's just, oh, it's like, don't just get your feet wet, go all the way in, say yes, just do it, and you're gonna feel so much better. So writing down how you're gonna feel about conquering these things and conquering those fears is actually gonna give you a lot of motivation just to do it. Just think, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, yes, right? So that's a great attribute to have in just going, right, I remember how I'm gonna feel and this is what I want. And especially if you want something so bad, if you want something so, 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 so bad, you're gonna have to let fear get out of the way. You're gonna have to push it aside and you're just gonna have to do it regardless. Number seven, my favorite one, I always say my favorite one to last. You can never, ever fail, ever fail, if you just don't quit. Isn't that cool? The only way that you can fail at anything and be, let fear take over is if you quit trying to do something that you wanna do and that you want to achieve. So that's what I'm gonna end you with today. Do not ever, 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 say it with me. I will never, good, I will never, ever, 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 ever quit. Because if I do quit, I'm never going to make it. And as long as I stay the course and I keep on going, it's inevitable it's gonna happen. And I can tell you that from experiences, there's gonna be times where life is gonna go like this to you. You're walking along, everything's going great. Boom, whoa, what happened there? Come back up again. Okay, doop, doop, doop. Life comes in, hits you up again. Are you gonna just let it, let it just keep going like this or are you gonna bounce back every time? And when you bounce back, guess what happens? You don't fall down all the way. And then eventually when things hit you, Boom, nothing even happens. Isn't that amazing? So there are my seven steps to letting go of fear. Mindfulness, these thoughts are just in your head. Number two, surround yourself with positive people. Number three, ask yourself what's more scary, not even trying and not even making it happen or just trying and having 1% that be true. Become 1% better every day. Look back and see how far you've come with experiences that you've already achieved and got rid of that fear. Number six, write down how, you feel, how you're gonna feel when you've conquered those fears. And number seven, you can't fail if you never, ever, ever, ever quit. Thank you guys for watching Wake Up Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check over my Instagram, Rebecca Louise Fitness, for all fitness tips. I show you what I do throughout the day. And if you wanna hear more about nutrition, Rebecca Louise Nutrition has got all my recipes about my Team Fearless. And uh, look, I've even got a bracelet for everybody who's in my team. If you guys can see that, it says fearless. Okay guys, well I hope you are having a wonderful week. Um, we've actually just got some exciting news about our retreat as well. So if you are looking to come on a retreat next year in Bali in September, it's gonna be phenomenal. The place that we have got is exclusive. It's all for us. I'm so excited. Our last retreat was like off the chain. We're gonna have to like work super hard to make it even better than the last one. Um, but you can just look at some of the testimonies from people who come last year. We've already got a ton of those people who re-signed up, which just shows that it was a very good retreat. So if you wanna come away with me to Bali, learn about health, nutrition, how to become the best version of yourself, personal development, growth, uh, then book your spot. We've got an early bird discount for just a short period of time. So I'll also put the link in the description below as well. And I can't wait to meet more of you there. Guys, have a wonderful day. Bye.